Hey builders, Brick Radiop here with another custom LEGO review. This time my July haul for Mini Bigs and Citizen Brick. I'll start with Mini Bigs because there are less items in my order. I have this bag here with a couple different parts in it. They have a Joe Dirt sticker there. I ended up getting one torso and a couple different heads. Torso I got is a Just Build It torso, nothing on the back. This is obviously based off of Nike and their Just Do It. They have a couple different items with the Nike style of branding. This is their second version with the black printing. I ended up getting a couple of legs from their first to have a white print instead of the black. I didn't end up getting any legs this time. I wanted to get a pair of the dark red, but they sold out before I could check out, so I skipped them. I think this is really cool. I have experience working in the sports field and video, so it's cool to have these for my Sig Fig. Moving on, I have a couple different heads. Three of their alien ones and two of their star ones and one Mike Tyson one. One of the alien ones is glow in the dark. Let's see if I can get it on camera quick. You can see right there, let the lights back on. I'll throw these on a couple of bodies to give you a better look of what they look like. First couple of heads here are those alien ones with the smiley face on them. They have simple prints and are very versatile for any custom builds you might have that would use aliens. And it looks pretty good on the Intergalactic Explorer, which you can get from Punk Rock Plastic. I really enjoy the simplicity of their prints uh, that they do at Mini Bigs, and they just give you a canvas for creating some fun figures. I think the gray color was their main release, and then all the other ones are a bit more misprinty, but the lighter green one is a great color too for a classic type alien. The next couple of heads are their starry-eyed ones. I threw one of them on the tuxedo body printed by Citizen Brick. I think, again, just another fun, simple head that could be used in a couple different scenarios, just showing just their awe at something like this that could be at a, an award show. And the last head is the Mike Tyson one. I threw it on these two Nike parts, which I showed earlier. This torso is new from this order. Printing is just phenomenal on this, really it is. It looks just like Mike Tyson. The tattoo detailing is really great. And I'm definitely going to need to figure out a different way to display this head, figuring out what body and legs I want to put it on. Here's the even closer up look at it. You can just see great detailing for such a small print and just a great part. I'm really glad I was able to get one of these. Moving on to Citizen Brick, I have their pretty usual shipping box there. Some bubble wrap. Ooh. And I have some really great items, some heads, and then a couple of different figures getting these out of the box. I'm very excited about the items that I got. This is a very fun wave, especially on the head front. I got three of their new figures, one being their Amish guy, I think his name was Eli, their hot dog guy, and Mike Dicka, or Duck Coach, Coach of Da Bears, and a bunch of different heads, some in flesh and some in yellow. A lot of these are really excited about. I think I'm going to keep this one in the box just because it is simple enough that I can see it through the packaging. The other two, though, I'll crack those open, get them on the stand, and we can check them out. For the first figure of Citizen Brick, we're going to look at their Amish person. This figure has a couple of their custom molded pieces, being the sleeves and the hat only has the one face print. Beard is an official Lego piece that so just goes underneath the head. And for the sleeves, they are glued onto the figure. I think that they uh, came up with that instead of having to print on the arms, which ends up looking a bit goofy and colors don't always match. So I think this is a great solution a couple of different figures with the sleeves and I really enjoy them. Great suspender printing on both sides. Just the perfect amount of wrinkles on the shirt and metallic buckles there. 
I love the concerned face that he has, just judging all the people around him. Just a fun, simple figure. And it's going to be great for just a civilian in your city or whatever fun situations you can put him in. Next is the figure that I was most excited for, this hot dog guy. Really glad it came in some sealable packaging. I really enjoy their custom printed labels for these. Just says hot dog guy in a mustard font. They're right up on uh, their products, legalese, that sort of thing. All their pieces are pad printed, which is the same process as Lego. And this figure comes with a lot of different accessories, two of which are custom, being the mustard bottle top and this board piece here, which says hot dogs for $1. This is going to be a great piece for mocks for doing hot dog stands. Oh. <laughs> On the back, too, has a little bit of a joke asking me about my wiener. They uh, love putting humorous things on figures. That's really great. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be doing some fun pictures with that. I also have a printed little box there that says mustard, which is fun. That's going to be really useful for mocks. The head looks like it's eating a hot dog. I think people have been pointing out that uh, there's some innuendo stuff that people might do with that. Not for me. And let's get off the board piece there. Gonna use a little bit of off-camera magic. Has torso that just says hot dog on it with a hot dog. I love this figure, it really is just fun. And that's one of my favorite things about Lego figures and especially the custom figures and what Citizen Brick puts out. It's just the fun factor. And this really has it. One of the things I'm noticing, it looks like I might have a little bit of black that is missing on the top of the bun. You can kind of see it there, but I think that's fine. You know, maybe this is a t-shirt that he's worn a lot. And just looking at the figure too, if it's a worker that would be in a food situation, I don't know if they'd be wearing the long sleeves. That might be kind of uncomfortable after a while. So I went and grabbed one of my extra Homer Simpson figures. I got this one from Lego Dimensions. I'm going to take the sleeves off and get them on this figure. I think that's going to end up looking better. And there's that switched out, which I think looks great. Might even consider switching out the tan ones. Uh, if they're working with hot dogs, they're a bit greasy, and that would stain their khakis. And I really think this would be a figure that would have benefited from those sleeves that they use, like on this one, or using these arms. But with everything else that comes with this figure, it's a really great deal, and I'm a big fan either way. But I'm going to definitely keep it like this and use this with the hot dog stand poly bag and put it with my modular city. The last figure is the coach which is basically a reprint of one of their older figures. I guess the biggest difference is the mustache is bigger on this one. And also it says bears on the sweater now instead of just having the stripes. Here's most of the heads that I got from this order. Basically went ahead and just got two of all of them just so I had more options for customizing. Uh, with my fig barfs, I, I was pretty limited on yellow heads, especially I was getting too many of the flash color ones. These are all pretty useful. I'm a really big fan of like the monocle and the glass ones. Those ones are perfect for a bunch of different things. And I really like the mustache one. The one I really wanted to get though is the David Bowie one. I was lucky to get one of the flesh ones. So I can have a David Bowie figure in my collection to go with all the different musician ones that Citizen Brick has released. And also my custom Spinal Tap figures, which I haven't shown in a video yet, but I'm really happy with those ones. I'm just going to throw these heads on a couple different bodies just to show off the different things you can do with them. Looking at the heads, here is that Ziggy Stardust one. I have the wrong color molded right now. I have one on order that is more of the dark orange, but looks great for having just the three colors. I did an example with the monocle. You know, you dress up the guy in a suit and maybe he's going around collecting seven different super powered people to form an academy. Very dapper looking fella. Set up kind of a scenario for this like sleeping one. 
an unsuspecting person with a vampire sneaking up on them. And they say that is for like a sleeping face, but I view it more as like a sigh of some sort, but lots of fun there. And a lot of these really do fit into more classic themed figures, like a sheriff there with a the mustache. Superhero type or bank robber person there. Really like that one. That'll be nice and useful. I have the flesh one of all the ones I've shown so far. The only one I didn't get a duplicate of is the David Bowie, just because I don't need multiple of them. But the eye patch. You can see this is another one of their options for heads that I use for a custom McFury, but the more simplified eye patch one looks kind of funny too, but the eye is switched over. I have another scenario right here with some pirates using that eye patch one as well. Let's just say that the chef went and cut the cheese and didn't realize that somebody else was in the room. So he's a little bit embarrassed. Another one with the glasses, you can put it on a Peter Parker figure and he's a bit bummed that he got kidnapped. So looking at all these different figure options, it really brings out what I love about the custom figure community is just the creativity and the options that these companies present for fun and for expression. And I'm really happy with a lot of these purchases. I'm going to hopefully do a lot of great things with these heads in the future, whether it's for conventions or just for Instagram. Uh, thank you, Mini Bigs and Citizen Brick, for making great products, and I'm definitely going to keep buying from them. And I definitely recommend uh, for anybody watching this uh, that you go and check them out if you haven't already. Minibigs.com and CitizenBrick.com. I'm Brick Radiop. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.